dear Mr. Madula, it's uh, my pleasure to welcome you here in the English Pillar of in Czech Republic. And I would like to ask you for a topic of high speed rail lines in Czech Republic because it's a huge project for us. And what do you think about this project, about the situation uh, here in Czech Republic? I think that uh, this is a very good project, in my opinion. Uh, where high speed has been realized in all the countries has been a big success. Mm-hmm. And it has changed the image also in the country of the railways. Mm. So it provides an image of a, a very advanced, very good service for people. Mm. And what I noticed that there is more request. Mm-hmm. So as soon as a country started to launch an high speed line, you see that people are asking for getting more and not only people, also president of the regions. So I think it's a very positive mm-hmm. success. Let me say also, Uh, as CER, uh, the Econo- uh, Community of European Railways and Infrastructure Companies, we fully support to have high-speed lines connecting all capitals and major cities of Europe. We think that this is a major project for Europe and very positive for railways and very positive for European identity. So, Bill, we also read recently the report that the former Italian Prime Minister presented to the Council of the Prime Ministers in Europe concerning the develop, development of the single market. And the first point he raises said, I wanted to travel by high speed around Europe. I could travel only from Paris to Brussels and Amsterdam. Mm. On the rest, I had to fly. Yeah. And he's pleading to develop this. This is important for the European single market. So Czech Republic should be part of it. Yeah. And do you feel that there is a place for uh, economical support from the European Union side uh, for the project of high-speed railways in Czech Republic? So there will be a support coming from Committee Euro facility, but let me say, in my opinion, will not be enough. Uh, I understand Czech Republic will leave also the structure of funds in the near future. Uh, let's see how much you can use what you have today and the leftover. Mm-hmm. If there is an investment program in Europe, and I hope there is an investment fund, like the next generation EU, I think you could have it. Brothers? Um, high-speed railways means uh, the new era of uh, connectivity of Europe. Uh, from my point of view, it's also important that uh, uh, there is some place for cooperation between Czech Sprava Železnic and uh, companies uh, from other states i mean poland spain because they are uh, they are meeting in some f- um, railway forums and so on and they are finding the best solution for check high speed uh, rail lines uh, do you feel that there is also uh, the place for the new connectivity in the business sphere uh, with which is connected uh, with the building of this project so On the infrastructure side, it's much easier. And we need to have this, uh, I would say, relation and connection among infrastructure managers because this must work everywhere in Europe. So they need to be connected. But on the railway undertaking, on the service side, you will have cooperation and competition, Mm -hmm. as we have already in Czech Republic. But definitely we need to see also more cooperation at international level. Let's imagine that we have high speed everywhere in Europe. We need to run trains and we need to cooperate with these trains. Not everybody will be able to run everywhere. So we will need to think that companies will need to cooperate also. Uh, one month ago, uh, Sarah presented uh, Rail Manifesto. Uh, what are the main points of uh, this uh, document and what do you expect from, let's say, new European Parliament? So, our document is starting from the point that there is more demand of railways. Mm -hmm. And railways are offering an opportunity for Europe also. So, uh, we have four major points. Uh, One point is level playing field. Uh, I heard also the discussion today here in the Czech Republic. What we are saying, we need to treat all the modes in the same way. If you apply If railways need to pay track access charges to run on, tra- on, uh, on the track, roads should pay for running on the road. Mm-hmm. 
or otherwise you take out the uh, track access charges for railways. If we pay VAT on our tickets, then you should pay VAT also on aviation, on air ticket. If you don't pay there, you should take out of our I think it is important that everybody is treated in the same way and then the best will win. So everybody will choose. This is our first point. We feel that this is not the case today, just to be clear. Another point which is important is funding and financing. And in particular, we have we need a lot of infrastructure, uh, high speed, also rail freight connection in ports. Uh, we need connection with the airports, connection in the cities. So we need infrastructure investment lately in the last 30 years. It's not, it's not been enough in Europe. There has been a lot of investment in road and motorways, but very few railways. So we need to reflect on this funding and we would like to have an investment fund at European level to promote this. So funding and financing is important. We are also reflecting how to attract private investors for certain activities. Third, <coughs> sorry, third point is digitalization. We would like that we go fully digitalized. ERTMS should become a success, should be implemented everywhere in a short time and investment, what we do on ERTMS should be protected. Yes. So when you invest, you should be able to have backward and forward compatibility and your investment should remain for a certain time. And then to go also on all the other digital aspects, being able to fully digitalize railways. And the fourth point is competition and cooperation. We are in favor of competition, but we think that we need also a bit of cooperation and more railways. Mm -hmm. I made you an example on high speed. If you don't run everywhere, you need to cooperate with the others. Uh, we made an agreement on CR ticketing roadmap. We will be able to sell tickets everywhere, but we need to cooperate for that. Uh, we need to cooperate, for instance, if you miss a train, you need to take another train or another company being able to be protected. So we develop an agreement on journey continuation. So we need to find the proper balance between competition and cooperation. Uh, sometimes cooperation is considered uh, not positive for the future. We think we need both. Mm -hmm. These are the four aspects. If I want, you want, I need to go into more details, but then it becomes very long. Yes, I understand. And uh, what do you expect uh, from new European Parliament in this uh, case, in the railway uh, strategical points? I hope that, uh, for instance, let's take digitalization, we need a real progress. Mm -hmm. So we have a proper governance, we set up in case or an agency or a director that dealing with this. Mm -hmm. uh, we are able to collect it or to monitor the investment that are done at European and national level. So on digitalization, we will need a big change compared to what we have today. Yes. Our funding is not an issue. So we prepare a plan for high speed for connecting all Europe. It is 500 billion euros, the cost. Uh, it is for the next 20, 25 years. It is a lot of money, but it is feasible. If you divide by the member countries a number of years, you come to figures that are, say, accessible. We would like that this is considered, and this is a real way how to go to the Green Deal. People would like to travel on high speed, less duration, more comfort, and we need to have competitive pricing. So we hope to get the support on these four lines I said and to get concrete. So uh, my last question is uh, about the plans for the rest of this year. Uh, what is before the sir for the rest of the year? Yeah. So we, we want to present our manifesto to the new electors, the new members of parliament. So we will organize an event in Brussels with them. We are reflecting also to organize another event or maybe the same event, the letter report. Uh, we understand that all ministers, all mm -hmm. council of ministers in Europe will discuss the letter report in the different uh, points. For transport, we have some points concerning railways that are very important. Of course, this report is also dealing with um, capital market unions, how to put together stock exchange, how to have a single market in finance, and how to keep the money in Europe and not going outside Europe. Uh, he made the point that about 300 billion euros 
leaves Europe to go to US every year. With this, two years you, you make all the high speed in Europe. So there is a lot of money that is leaving Europe and the good point that is making how to connect the financial markets, European financial market, and the needs for investment for the Green Deal. I hope that this contact is created and we would like to see it. This will be important for our investment. Yeah.